195 pound state final in black. That's James Subak of St. Ed's in white. He's wrestling Jojo Taze of Nassau and Perry. These two, the top two seeds at this tournament. I think both picked as finalists by Brian Brakeman and Josh Lowe. Subak has defeated Taze three times this season. Once in their duel and on both the front and back side at Ironman. Well, as we saw at 132, tough to beat a good wrestler three times in their, four, in their case three. This one would be four times in the season. Half shot there, Subak, nothing doing as Taze steps out. 30 seconds gone by, scoreless first period. Subak, a senior, headed to wrestle at the University of Virginia next season. Taze is a junior. Subak, 27 and 3. Taze, 38 and 2. This is only lost to Subak twice then. It's mathematically impossible for him to lose three times. sure where Sands will put everybody if we are working with the old weight classes. Stutter step there, Subak, nothing doing. Taze a hand fight with him. Should Taze win here, it would make Nassim carry a perfect four for four in finals. Half shot again with teammate Zach Daly, Mitch Newhouse. And David Bavery all winning state titles. And really an impressive balance in that Perry lineup to win it. With, with, have, at least have finalists at 106, 38, 52, and 95. That's not just that's not just one coach at one part of the weight class make, one part of the weight class is making a difference. First period draws to a close scoreless between Jojo Taze and Subak. Official gets impressive height on that disc flip. Taze wins it and goes or I'm sorry, Subak wins it and goes under. Subak will join Joy join George De, join George. Say that three times fast. D Camillo. University of Virginia next season. I think the Cavaliers are hoping to have two state champions from Ohio. Also at UVA are former Subak teammates Gus Seiko and Nick Sulzer. It's been a nice little pipeline from St. Ed's to UVA. 140 left in this one. Subak up 1-0 after the escape. Subak tries to go up top. Or not, Hayes tries to go up top. Subak backs us out. 133 on the restart. High skirt. one nothing lead James Subak. Shot from way out. Subak gets that low single. Tries to come out the back door. Taze scrambling. Subak can't quite swim over. Now is through. Hasn't scored yet. Taze passes to an ankle. Big man scramble. As Subak close. Taze still has that ankle. Can't quite sit back into him. There's your two. He loses the ankle. And James Subak on the board. 3-0 is his lead now, 45 seconds left, second period. Getting a little high, Taze though broken down and now Subak can go to work like Abnader, he's very tough on top. He though is more of a two boots and power half guy. Although it has, and now gives up the leg. 28 seconds left, Taze not going anywhere underneath. Now Subak slides a boot, has a half. If he can run this over, we can we could be over quickly. 17 seconds left though. Stalemate it. John Heffernan not happy, but we'll go back to center. 16 seconds to go. Second period. James Subak up 3-0. 
It will be Taze's choice to start the third. Or Subak sits Taze into a crab ride. 11 seconds left. Subak swears. Taze swims to the head. Can't quite get there. Roll. Subak follows. Taze now sitting back. He's close. Gets his two and gets back. Four point reversal. JoJo Taze to end the period. He leads this match four to three. Goes underneath with a chance to stretch that lead to five three. James Suvac holds on a little too long on top. Taze four point reversal and he is in control of this state final. Suvac covers Taze head right to the max. Suvac would need a turn in the third to take a lead if he intends on riding for two minutes. Taze now reverses again. Six three lead now Jojo Taze. Has Subak completely broken down? Now that James in all sorts of trouble as Taze you know, has completely out wrestled him on the mat so far. And you have to wonder if Subak wouldn't have been better kicking him out and giving himself two minutes to try and tie it with a takedown. Subak can't roll. Bent leg hurt there from Taze, 110 left in this one. And James Sudak in a world of hurt underneath. Jojo Taze from Perry, who was just having a great finals round, and this would put an exclamation point on it to get a head-to-head -head win over their biggest rival. 55 seconds left, Taze still riding hard. He leads 6-3, Sudak the sound mind to roll out and get a restart. He does. 47 seconds left. James Subak trails Jojo Taze by three. We take our time between restarts as Taze covers. Subak get anywhere off the whistle is now Taze looking ahead lever. Has that wrist trap or arm trapped up. 34 seconds left. Jojo Taze looking cradle here. Has Subak broken down. 27 seconds left. All he needs to do is ride and he'll win his first state title up here at 195 pounds. 18 seconds left. Taze still in control. Now Subak out. He trails by two, 10 seconds left, needs a takedown to force OT, shoots that low single, Taze sprawls back, reshot, nothing. He's flattened out, and Jojo Taze, your winner at 195 pounds, Maslin Perry, a perfect four for four in finals. Great showing from the Tigers, and they've got a state champion, Jojo Taze.